Hey guys, so I don't know about you, but it's been three days and all I hear about is C++. So I feel like maybe we can talk about something else and you're lucky because I love history and I make video games about history for a living. So I'm going to talk to you about history. And more importantly, I recently released a game called Imperator Rome in which I had a small part to play in. So we're going to talk about a specific Roman person. His name is Cato the Elder. Well, actually, his full name is Marcus Porcius Cato. Uh, he, was, well, he had a bunch of titles, I don't know what half of them mean, but we have to agree, they sound pretty cool. Like, I would like to have like Quest or, or Ideal in my business card, that, that sounds pretty rad. Anyway, he's not to be confused with Cato the Younger, also called, known as Marcus Postius Cato, who tenses, sorry, my Latin is terrible. He's actually his great-grandson, and he hoped was Caesar, but ultimately was defeated in a tragic story. But that's not the topic of today. Uh, Cato is actually uh, the first person to write a, a book in Latin, like a prose book in, in Latin. It's called De Agricultura, and as the name suggests, it's about agriculture. But we don't care about that, right? When he was younger, he also fought in the Punic Wars. And if you know anything about history, you know that the Punic Wars was a huge fight between Rome and Carthage. And if you wonder which one it is, it's the one in which Hannibal, sorry, the one in which Hannibal, oh, sorry, the one in which Hannibal actually crossed the Alps with elephants in a surprise attack and got Rome with their pants down, but ultimately was defeated. But that's not all of it. Cato also was very, very against anything Greek. Like, very. Like, he refused to, to have a bird. Because, you know, birds are like Greek philosopher things, and that's unmanly, and he refused to have that. A any gentleman should be clean-shaven. Also, since he hated the Romans, uh, the Greeks, sorry, well, he refused anything coming from Greece, and that included any uh, teaching from Hippocrates, which means he refused to see a doctor for all his life. That sounds like the punchline for someone who died very young, but actually, he died at 85, so who is wrong there, I'm not sure. But that is not the reason we know about Cato, right? The biggest reason is from this quote, Ceterum senseo catarginem esse de lemdam, which you might also recognize as this shortened version, cardago de lenda est, or the English translation, furthermore, I think Carthage must be destroyed, which dates back from after the Second Punic War. Carthage was weakened, but Cato were there as an ambassador and realized that actually, Carthage was still a threat, and so he tried to huge Rome to go to war against Carthage. And to convince people to do that, well, anytime he had a speech, an occasion to speak in the Roman Senate, he ended it by, furthermore, I think Carthage must be destroyed. Like, I approve this tax reform, furthermore, I think Carthage must be destroyed. I oppose this agricultural reform, furthermore, I think Carthage must be destroyed. I think we should get a Brexit extension, furthermore, I think Carthage must be destroyed. Actually, his detractors figured out very quickly how to counter it by going to the Senate and ending all of his speeches by Carthago Sarvenda Est, which means Carthage must be saved. Ultimately, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, he, wouldn't see, he wouldn't leave to see it, but his topic reasoned into the Roman uh, people and he got his revenge because Carthage was actually destroyed in the Third Punic War sometime after his death. The big reason why people opposed it uh, was because they thought that Carthage was actually a great boogeyman which would keep Rome united against the common enemy and keep them from fighting against each other in a civil war, which was a big problem at the time. And of course, since this victory was made, uh, it, it, it allowed uh, Rome to actually basically become the big power we all know. That's from French history, by the way. Um, anyway, why am I telling you all this? Okay, what is C++ Nemesis? What is the thing that must be destroyed? Is that another language? You know, like the one we don't speak about that starts with an R? Nah. Is it the lack of meta classes? Nah. Is it the absence of whatever you name it in the standard library? I don't know, like networking, 2D graphics, you name it. Nah. No. The worst enemy is your own build files. Most build files are overcomplicated. I could set them on fire and rewrite them more concisely for like one, one fifth of the length. And it would make packaging easier, it would make your build easier, you could change your build files, you can change your build configuration, you can use ASIN, you can use package management, and it would work great. So, from now on, I will end all my talks and public occasions with the same thing. 
Furthermore, I think your bill should be destroyed. Thank you.